outside of the arrival lounge at the Philip Goldson International Airport erupted in celebration this morning. And rightly so, as the Belize Rural High School's softball team returned to the country with the silver medal from the just-concluded third Central American and Caribbean Scholar Games. The tournament was held in Panama City, Panama, and had the participation of Belize, Colombia, El Salvador, Guatemala, Panama, and Venezuela. Team captain Kaylee McFadson and catcher Tyra Moreira told of news that while the competition was a stiff, Belize held its own right up to the end. The experience in Panama was good and was a little bit challenging, but overall we played our best and we're not coming second. What was it like playing against the other um, teams from Central America? Well, um, it was like not very difficult because most of us, all, most of us, um, we like we've been there already and we play against them already. So, like the only challenging team we had was Venezuela that gave us a challenge. So it wasn't like that, like much really a challenge. But on final, like on the last, just you know, simple errors. Yeah, that we could pick up after, but I guess tired, you know. So. You just came shy of the goal. It's still a good um, accomplishment. Do you look forward to going back to Central America to play uh, with the hopes of capturing that goal? Yes, we yep, do. Most definitely. <laughs> and, and, and definitely we will bring back the goal. <laughs> Aside from winning the silver medal, two of Belize's players, Sabrina Campos and Ashley Lucas, also received the Best Player Awards. Lucas, who is the team's main pitcher, told Love News that she pitched five games and that her teammates gave their all to capture the silver medal. Well, it, was, it wasn't tough, but the hardest team was Venezuela, but we still had the goal in our hand, but i still glad that we brought back something and not on, so I still feel good. In addition to bringing back the silver medals, you also brought back an individual award. What was that and how do you feel about winning that? Um, the best player... I got this. Um, I feel good because not any anyone can go out there and do that against those people because out there it's very rough pitching, playing and all of that. So I feel good. That's why I thank um, the Federation, the Billy's Rural, the Minister of Sports and of all my principal of Nazarene High School. That's one big up and everyone else who supported us with traveling. Now you pitched the entire tournament, that's a lot of games. How your arms feel? <laughs> it still feels like a little bit more. <laughs> Assistant coach Keith Madrill says that with the exception of one team, the level of competition at the regional games was pretty much even. Everybody was beside Venezuela who were more out, was far better than other people. They beat most of the other teams, 11-0, 12-0, 14 and 15-0. But when they meet us, we had, I, for me and our whole coaching staff, we know from day one that we have a good defensive team. What Venezuela had over us was more pitching, and their pitching was more dominant than ours to our extent. We made a few errors in our game, that's why we lost to them 7-4, but regardless, we still did with Patrick. What could have been done differently to try to get the goal? Like what I said, the pitching... The pitching that Venezuela had is far, far superior to ours and with more work and seeing different type of pitch. Um, you have the, the ace pitcher for Venezuela, she has very good control, she can hit it inside, outside and she can throw a, but she, a nasty curve. The silver medalists were taken via motorcade to Belize City where a brief recognition ceremony was held at the Rogers Stadium.